Hi everybody, it's Sue here. Are we looking forward to library story time? I am. We've got a lot of visitors today. Hedgehog's come back from yesterday. And Squirrel too. Should we have a song before we have our story? Can anybody make a spider? Have you guessed what song we're going to sing? I bet you all know Incy Wincy Spider. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout and down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Oh, well done, everybody. Give yourselves a clap. That was a lovely start to story time. Now, I'll have a look in the story time basket and see what today's story is. Oh, today's story is all about an otter. Do you remember in yesterday's story, Hedgehog met an otter on his way to Badger's house? Well, today's story is called King Otter. And it's a big thank you to Jane Porter, who has written the story. And she's done the illustrations too. So thank you to Jane and also to Simon and Shrushter Publishers for allowing us to use the story at story time. Thank you. Once an otter found a box. In it were fine clothes and fancy things. He tried some on. He felt taller, more exciting, and extra specially handsome. He put on a crown looked in the mirror. I am splendid, he thought. I shall be King Otter. Bow down before King Otter, hedgehogs, he said. And they did. Being King Otter was a fine thing. The king needs somewhere important to sit, he thought. Squirrels, build me a throne. And it was done. Otter sat back and surveyed his kingdom. Everyone must see that I am king, thought Otter. There shall be a grand parade, he announced, with expert acrobats and musicians to delight your ears. At the top of the hill, there will be a spectacular banquet with 17 types of cake in every colour. You may all watch me eat. And I shall travel in a golden coach, pulled by unicorns. Let the preparations commence. But Otto, said Hedgehog, unicorns don't really. That will be all, said King Otto. So the squirrels set to work with their saws. The birds painted flags, the frogs practiced singing and doing handstands. There was so much to do. When the last buttercup garland was woven and the coach was ready, the grand parade began. The golden coach sparkled as it bumped along. And Otter waved to his people. Nobody had ever seen anything like it. And they couldn't help cheering. 
Slowly they climbed the hill, but the day was hot and the coach and the king were heavy. Faster, said King Otter. Faster! The unicorn's horn started slipping off. The king began to feel hungry. We're going to be late for the banquet, he said. Unicorns, start prancing. Nobody wanted to mention that they hadn't had time to make the cakes. Hurry up, shouted the king. The cheering stopped. I want my banquet now. Suddenly, the silken rope snapped. The golden coach rolled down the hill until crash! A wheel fell off and King Otter tumbled into the mud. Otter sat up. Birds, come here! He shouted, squirrels, rescue your king. But nobody came. This is treason, he said. It's treachery. No one replied. Otter put his muddy crown back on. But it felt all wrong. He thought quietly for a long time, then took off all the fine things. You can be king now, he said to the tree stump. He went to the river to wash his muddy paws and the water felt so good that he died right in. When Otter came up for air, everything looked extra colourful. He felt a tickle on his nose. And sitting there was a butterfly twice as beautiful as the richest robe. Round the bend, he found the others having fun. <coughs> Excuse me, he said. They all looked around. I think I may have been king too long, he said. Can I play with you now? Of course, they said. Otter's fine things weren't wasted. The crown was handy for the squirrel's inventions. The tassels on the jacket made the bird's nest rather glamorous. And the box was a perfect stage for the frog shows. Otter always cheers the loudest at the end. And the boots Sometimes, Otter puts them on again, just for fun. That was a good story, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. After that lovely story, I think it's time for some songs. Let's have Wind the Bobbin. Can you make a bobbin? Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window and point to the door. 
Clap your hands together, one, two, three. And place your hands up on your knee. Can anybody make a fast bobbin? <laughs> Should we have a go? Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window and point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three, and place your hands up on your knee. <laughs> oh, after that fast bobbin. I think we might need a little rest. I'll have a look in the story time basket and see who's there. Oh, look who's joining us. Sleeping Bunny, he was at the bottom of the basket. <laughs> Should we be sleeping bunnies now? See if you can find a space on the floor and go to sleep. Are we all fast asleep? See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, how still are they ill? Wake up soon. Shh. Wake up, bunnies! Hop, little bunnies, hop. Look who I spotted when I put Sleeping Bunny back in the basket. It's Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Poor Humpty. I'll sit you on our shelf. I'm sure you'll be safe there. <laughs> the time just goes so quickly at story time. Are we ready for if you're happy and you know it? If you've got a shaker, go and get a shaker. If not, don't worry because there's lots of great actions to do. Are we ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Are we ready for some shouting? If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Give yourselves a big clap! That was such a good end to story time! We'll have a lovely week and I'll see you next Monday. <laughs>